Welcome. If you're looking to break through your limited beliefs, birth your purpose, and live a life beyond your wildest dreams, this podcast is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron. I'm a doctor of divinity, new thought minister, founder of Soul Society, TV host, global transformational speaker, and the author of the international best-selling book, Awakening. Soul Society is the number one spiritual community committed to empowerment, enlightenment, and entrepreneurship. We truly believe that when someone awakens, they have a gift and message to bring to the world. The intention of this podcast is to assist you in awakening to your divinity, discovering your life purpose, and manifesting your dreams. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and may you live your truth. Today, I want to talk with you guys about inspired action. You're either frozen in fear or you're flowing in faith. So yesterday, I drove back down from Northern California. We are on um, our spring break for the week. We do not have our group coaching calls during the week this week. And so I took some time off. I actually had a studio up there that was given to me to record some things. And I was driving back down seven hours in the car. And it was this most beautiful day, gorgeous. You know, I'm not not really somebody that would want to, you know... um, somebody that would want to, sorry, there was a little bit of noise there, Um, somebody that would want to drive for seven hours, but in the middle of this pandemic and being so enclosed in homes, it is it was just so lovely and wonderful and divine to drive down, come along the coastway and through the rolling hills. And it was fascinating because over the course of the day, I had, you know, talked to many people, my family, some friends, some clients, and was listening to, of course, you know, beautiful classical music and mantras and everything. And it was fascinating because the calls that came in were very different. Some calls people were very, some of my friends and family or whoever was very steeped in fear, very much frozen in fear. And then other friends that would come call in or I'd talk to, they were flowing in faith. They were inspired and excited about this new chapter in their life. So they kept driving and I kept driving. I began to realize there's this thing called pray and then move your feet in the new thought movement and in the you know spiritual mind work that we work in of new thought and science of mind and the metaphysical aspect of the bible we don't preach that there's a god outside of the self we we know that god is within each and every one of us and as we get in that relationship as we relate as we come into union with our higher self there is ours to do which is taking inspired action You know, pray and then move your feet. And so I want to ask the question today for yourself and for everyone here, you know, are you frozen in fear or are you flowing in faith? And usually if you're frozen in fear, it's because you're looking to the outside world and you are feeding yourself with the fuel of fear, right? That doesn't mean we don't get delusional and we don't look at the at the facts of what's going on with the coronavirus or what's going on in the news, but we come within, we know the truth, we get grounded in spirit, and then we take inspired action, right? So, you know, Ralph Waldo Emerson said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Ralph Waldo Emerson was really the pioneer of what is called the transcendental movement. The transcendental movement actually was, you know, this whole movement that started in the 19th century. And it was really understanding that God is not out there. It is a relationship. Our spiritual relationship is within. And so as Ralph Ralph Waldo Emerson was at the um, Harvard Divinity School with Henry David Thoreau and these major figures, right? They said, look, no, 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 no. We do not have to go to a physical church. We don't have to believe in some, you know, man in the sky. Mother nature can teach us. Going within can teach us. And in this, all things are possible. And so that's what we teach in universal law. That's what we teach in Science of Mind is that there is the Trinity. The Trinity lies within. It's spirit, mind, body. Spirit, mind, body right? So spiritually, it's consciousness. It is that part of ourself that is always conscious. And it actually can, it can direct universal law, directs energy upon mind, right? Mind is considered universal law. It's the cause and effect aspect of how we create and how we demonstrate and how we manifest through. It is the subjective mind. It's the subconscious mind. And then the body is what is considered the physical form, 
right? So as we know this, as we're in this place with the coronavirus, the pandemic, this economic crisis, we have to say, what can we do, right? I had another call with a friend on the way down and he was talking politics and and he laughs at me because because you barely know what's going on I go look I know the basics I know what I need to do to try and stay you know where I'm not going to spread any coronavirus I do not see more than two people in three weeks okay I just keep my distance I know that I know what to take in in my supplements and in getting my mind right and in exercising and taking care of myself that is all I need to know politically, okay? I don't, I'm not in politics. Mine to do is to bring truth to the world and help people understand and get steeped in truth so they can take inspired action. Because the worst thing we can do right now, in my opinion, is sit in and get more and more fear. The pandemic that's happened within us is almost, it's worse than the pandemic that's actually happening. You guys get that that the economical crumble and the health issues are going to come more from our mind than they will from the coronavirus or the spiraling of of the you know Wall Street. Okay, we've got to get into the flow of faith and the flow of faith. So, what are you doing today to know this truth? Carl Jung said, "You you are what you do, not what you say you will do." So this is not someday, okay? Will, the, the word will, I will, I will do X, Y, the will means, will came from the origin of your will. Your will is God's will. This is a relationship. It is one and the same. The aspect of, of otherwise all famine would go away if there's some God in the sky and just like God take handle this. No, you are that aspect. If you want things to be healed on this planet, if you want things to be revealed on this planet, if you want things different, it is your will. It is not some day. It is the will of today. You are what you do, not what you'll say you do. Carl Jung was brilliant, right? What do you believe? And we see, teach in mental science and in science of mind that it all comes down to belief. Belief is what you be and what you live. And Carl Jung understood this. It is not what you say you will do in the future. It is what you do now. What you be and live now. And so in this, I ask today for you to take a look at yourself. And if you're in fear, it's okay. You need to use the fear, though. It's not about the positive movement of just get your, just be positive. That's a bunch of bullshit, okay? It's about using the emotions. Use the fear. Use the fear to to birth the fire within, to go within, to find that thing that is yours to do today. For yours to, to go, you know what? I may not have control out there, but I do have control in here. Today, I can, I can, you know, go for a walk alone. I can, you know, eat well. I can, you know, take inspired action, help another person. I can begin to plan out and get educated and, and build my skill set online so I can launch that business I've always wanted to do or whatever it is. You know, I recognize right here and right now that, you know, the, as Ralph Waldo Emerson also said, the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. So again and again and again, we preach and teach and embody powerful decision. So today, right here, right now, you have the ability to powerfully decide, to powerfully decide who you want to be through this. What is going to be the person that comes out of the backside of this incredible shift in history, incredible opportunity in history? Who do you desire to become? Okay. Who do you desire to become? What do you desire to embody? What skill set? What mindset? What are the people you want in your life? What is it that you want to focus on for the next 10 years? You know, you can be an expert. They say 10,000 years to embody, become an expert. Think about it. This is the new chapter. This is the new you. So in this inspired action, I ask again, are you frozen in fear? Are you flowing in faith? And so today I choose. I choose to flow. I choose anywhere that I'm not flowing. It means there is a lie. There is a limited belief. And so in that releasing the limited belief, going in, doing the inner work, doing the emotional trauma work, getting clear, getting right, getting with my right mind, getting with my higher self, I recognize in that is all inspired action. And I say, yes, yes, yes. And so taking a deep breath in together. Through the nose, suspending the breath and exhaling out. And I recognize right here, right now, the prayer is the answer because in prayer is inspired action. And in this inspired spirit, in that is all answers. 
there is every solution, which is consciousness. Consciousness is the solution. And prayer is about expanding consciousness to unveil parts of yourself that you didn't even know were there. And so as we go within, as we breathe through this day, I declare this to be the best day ever. I declare this will to be the God's will within. That will is not in the future. That you will today make today the best day ever. And in this, I know it's heard. I know it's heard by the subjective mind, by the universal law, by my sub subconscious mind, by the mind of the one that we all are a part of, which is the one life, one love, one divine, one spirit. And in this, I say, yes, I don't need to force it, fix it, or do anything. I literally just take inspired action. I release it. It's been heard. It's done. As together we say, and so it is. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for everything. Listen, if you are the first on this call, if you came in directly through the Zoom link and you'd like to actually have all the other content in Inner Circle, you can simply go to my bio on Instagram. It's there. You can go to soulsociety.com and go to Inner Circle on the top right side. Remember that every day of the week, Monday through Friday, we have one of the ambassadors that will be holding a Soul Circle session, which is an hour-long session where you get to turn on your video. You get to engage. You get to learn some of the principles that they are trained in as ambassadors to facilitate incredible, extraordinary work of birthing your truth, birthing your purpose, birthing all the things, getting past the trauma, releasing those limiting beliefs. We also just started the 40-day spiritual awakening. We're in the Facebook group. We are posting the um, one a day um, guided meditation that goes along with my book, Awakening. We have a free app, Soul Society with Dr. Aaron, which has all the, the free book. It has the 40 guided meditations. It has all the schedule for all the calls. It goes into the podcast. It goes at everything. It's free, you guys. Please share this out. Let other people know we're coming on this daily prayer call Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. PST, to know the truth, to get grounded in. Let's do this thing. It is so important to get our mind right during this and to just say yes, yes, yes. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in Soul Society and Dr. Aaron Podcast. If you've had a calling to be a spiritual leader or coach, you can go to soulsociety.com and check out our free training. If you've received value here, I would love it if you take a moment and give a five-star review. In exchange, I have a ton of free gifts for you. Grab your free awakening book, 40 guided meditations, and digital manifesting masterclass. I also have a free money meditation and worksheet for you so you can begin to break through your scarcity mindset and claim your birthright of prosperity. You can get all of your gifts and learn about our upcoming transformational events in my bio link in both Instagram and Facebook. That's under drerin.tv, which is D-R-E-R-I-N.tv. Also, I'd love to invite you into our free private community on Facebook under groups called Soul Society. That is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Soul Society. That's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-E. -E. Have a divine day and may you live your truth.